Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple flower pattern in Photoshop using the Mandela feature. First off, we're gonna create our new document. So go ahead and click on Create New. The dimensions I'm going to use are 600 pixels by 600 pixels. We're gonna go ahead and deselect artboards. The resolution is gonna be 300 pixels per inch, uh, RGB color mode, and then set your background contents to transparent. And then go ahead and click on Create. Zooming in on my canvas here, Command or Control with the plus key. To start off, we are going to create our flower. To do this, we are going to use our brush tool. So we are going to select the brush from our tools. So we're gonna use the keyboard shortcut B. And then uh, currently I have it set to, if I right click, I have it set to pencil. To uh, toggle between the different tools, you're gonna go Shift B, and that will bring up our brush tool here. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the diameter by using the right bracket key. We're gonna make it uh, bigger here. And then we are going to bring up the Mandela feature. So if you go to the top menu here and then you see this kind of butterfly uh, symbol, you go ahead and click down. And then Photoshop gives you options of uh, different symmetry. You can do vertical, horizontal axis, uh, two axis here, circle, spiral. Um, in this case, we are going to use the mandala. Go ahead and click on that there. And then you can select how much uh, symmetry that you want of segment. So in this case, I'm going to use five. Going to click on OK. And then you'll see this um, path created of the symmetry here and then you just click the uh, check mark and then make sure your brush tool is selected again and then i'm just going to draw a circle looking at my colors here i'm just going to set it to default by selecting d on the keyboard to get black as my foreground color coming onto the canvas just clicking and then what you'll notice is it will pull up the symmetry of that brush stroke here. So I've got the basis of my flower. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the symmetry. So clicking on the button and just click symmetry off. Uh, next, I'm going to create a new layer. So I'm just gonna to click to add a layer. And then let's bring our brush size down just a little bit. And then I'm just going to click to fill that in there. What I want to do is I want to uh, cut out the hole in our flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that layer by hovering over the icon, Command or Control click to select it here. We're gonna go to uh, this bottom layer here and then with the marquee tool hitting M on the keyboard, we're going to right click and then we'll do layer by cut. We'll go ahead and turn this top layer off and then we can delete this extra. And now we have our cut out flower for our pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this extra layer here. Um, with this layer, I'm going to uh, convert it to a smart object. Clicking in to the smart object here, it will bring up my flower and then we are gonna go ahead and give it a color. So opening up my swatches panel here. I'm going to uh, use my, my bright colors palette here. So with this layer selected, I'm gonna click on a color. And now uh, this pink is set as my foreground. Um, because these are filled in pixels, I'm gonna select this uh, lock icon, which locks the transparent pixels. And then I'm going to go Option Delete to fill the area with my selected color. From here, I'm going to save this, Command or Control S, and then we're gonna close it out, Command or Control W, and then we have our flower here. Using the Move Tool V, we're going to uh, decrease the size of our flower here. Click on OK. I'm going to zoom out, so Command, and then the minus key here. And then I'm going to bring up my guide. So let's go to View, New Guide Layout. We're gonna go uh, two columns and two rows. 
just to give me a two by two grid here. Positioning uh, my flower here, let's just bring it a little bit larger. Clicking on OK there. And then I like to uh, align it to the grids here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to duplicate this smart object. So we're gonna right click, um, but this time we're gonna do new smart object via copy. And then uh, clicking in to this smart object here, we're gonna change the color. It still has the pixels locked here. We're gonna select the orange one here and then option delete to fill it in. And then I'm gonna go command save um, and then command W to close it out. And so now we have our second flower here. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on pattern preview mode so we can see how it looks. So let's go to view pattern preview and then we're going to bring it to uh, this side here. And then clicking on our pink layer again, let's go ahead and uh, repeat this step. Let's do a new smart object via copy. We'll click into that one. We're going to change our color. So I'm going to select a new color here. Option delete for Mac users to fill it in, Command S to save, and then Command W to exit. And then we'll bring it up here. And then we'll do that one more time. New Smart Object via copy, clicking in. We'll select our new color here. Option delete to fill it in, and then we'll go ahead and save that Command S and then close out Command W, and then we will align it to our canvas here. Let's go ahead and add a background color. So I'm gonna use just a solid color adjustment layer. I'm gonna select my color here and click on OK, and then we'll just drag this to the bottom. And now I have my uh, simple repeat flower pattern. I'm going to go ahead and define my pattern. So let's go to edit, define pattern. You can give it a name and click on OK here. And then let's open up a new document, file new. This time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, a resolution 300 pixels per inch, color mode RGB color, and then we'll just set our background contents to white and click on create. From this, I'm going to use one of my actions, which is which I've called pattern test, which basically brings up a color fill layer, a pattern fill layer, and another color fill layer so that I can easily change out the background or the color of my pattern. With my pattern fill layer selected, I'm going to go over to my patterns panel, which is under, you can access it under windows and patterns. And then I'm going to select my newly created pattern. In this case, we are going to turn off this black color fill layer and I can see my pattern. If you wanted to save this as digital scrapbook paper, you would go to File, Export, Export As, and this dialog box will open up. And you'll notice under File Settings, you can change your format. For this case, we're going to do JPEG. And then with digital scrapbook paper, you want it to be high quality so you can adjust the quality um, and bring it up here. And then I like to click on embed color profile and then you can just click to export your file. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a simple flower pattern in Adobe Photoshop using the Mandela feature. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.